The primary design criteria for any water treatment facility are flow rate, influent concentrations, and effluent concentrations. Two different flow rates must be considered. The maximum flow rate, for example 100 gallons per minute or GPM, is called the design capacity. All equipment must be sized to handle this hydraulic capacity. An average flow rate should also be determined, which will be used to estimate operating costs. Costs such as chemical and power usage depend upon the actual gallons of water treated, not the capacity of the plant. The average flow rate may be several times smaller than the design capacity. For example, it is not unusual for a water treatment plant with a design capacity of 1,000 GPM to have an average flow rate of 300 GPM. Influent concentrations for the contaminants of concern are the second important design criterion. Determining influent concentrations is greatly simplified if the influent stream currently exists. All that must be done is a complete water analysis as previously described. However, the influent stream frequently does not yet exist, as in the case of an entirely new industrial facility. In that case, scientists and engineers typically run models or look at similar facilities to estimate average concentrations or a range of possible concentrations. Effluent concentrations follow a similar scenario. Discharge permit limits may already be established, which provides a solid base for the required treatment performance. However, discharge limits are frequently being established and or negotiated concurrent with the design process. In that case, the treatment plant design must be flexible enough to accommodate discharge limits for certain parameters that may change late in the design process.